other tools. Scientists all over the world use weather tools to measure the weather. Great! I love tools! Scientists use Doppler radar and satellites in space to gather information and learn more about the weather. Oh, wow! I want to measure the weather. Then I'll know if it's going to be cold tomorrow and I can wear my new super warm mittens. This person is measuring how fast the wind is blowing. What tool is that? It's a wind anemometer. I think I can tell how fast the wind is blowing without an anemometer. Really? Yes, very fast. Hmm, those look like black clouds. I think it's gonna rain. <laughs> You're right. And this is a rain gauge. It catches rain and measures how much is falling. I can make one of those. You could use it to track rainfall throughout the year. Neat idea! And this is a thermometer. Thermometers measure the temperature. They tell us if it's hot or cold. Wow, you need a lot of tools to measure weather. You know, Willow, you have been using the best tool of all. You! You noticed clues to measure the wind, and you watched the clouds and predicted it was going to rain. You're right. I am a weather scientist, even without the tools. Let's spell. Rain. Seasons. You may have noticed that the weather changes throughout the year. These changes are called the seasons. Ooh, I know the seasons. Uh, that's spring, warm and rainy. And that's summer, hot and sunny, windy, leaves falling from trees. This must be autumn or fall. Cold and snow, that's winter. Now you really know your stuff, Chester. And do you know the reason for the seasons? Is it so we can go skiing and surfing if we want to? <laughs> Not quite. The seasons are caused by how much sunlight is reaching the Earth. Uh, it's kind of crooked. That's right. The Earth is on a tilt. When the Earth goes round the sun, different parts of the Earth get different amounts of sunlight throughout the year. Yeah. The part tilting towards the sun is getting more direct sunlight. So what season do you think that part of the Earth is having? More sunlight? More warmth? Summer! Well, I'm off to the part furthest away from the sun. Mm, why is that? It's winter there, and I want to go skiing. Let's spell. Hurricane. <laughs> Humidity. Humidity is the amount of water vapor in the air around us. It's so hot and sticky. You willow? Humidity? The air around us has water in it. Where? <laughs> you can't see it, Willow, because the water's made up of tiny droplets so small they're invisible. In this state, the water is actually a gas. This is what's called water vapor. And humidity is the name of the amount of water vapor there is in the air. But how does humidity make us feel hot and sticky? The more water vapor there is in the air, the more... Sticky it feels? Yes! And the water in the air traps in the heat and makes it feel even... Phew! Hotter! Sometimes humidity makes our hair go frizzy too. Whoa! Frizzy hair? I'm out of here. Bye! Now let's test your memory.
lizard. Blizzards are very strong snowstorms. It's snowy, windy, and brrr, cold. When a heavy wind blows snow around for hours, it's called a blizzard. Everything looks so white. That's because it's a whiteout, Chester. When whiteouts happen during a blizzard, it becomes very hard to see. Lucky they've got warm clothing and walking sticks. Unless you have something important to do, like these penguins protecting their young, it's best not to go outside in a blizzard. And if you do go out, it's probably best not to go traveling in cars. During blizzards, the roads are very slippery. Ah, the blizzard's over. Now I can go and have a snowball fight with Obal. <laughs> Nash. Oh. <laughs> Wait till I catch you, Nash. Let's write blizzard. Clouds. Clouds come in all shapes and sizes. Willow, do you know what clouds are made of? I do. Marshmallows. <laughs> Only joking. They're made of water. Correct. A cloud is made up of very tiny droplets of water, or ice crystals. They're so light, they can float in the air. That cloud looks like a giant seashell. That's a cumulus cloud. Looking at clouds can tell us which way the wind is blowing and give us information about what the weather will be like. Cumulus clouds usually mean nice, calm, sunny weather. What are those wispy clouds? These are cirrus clouds. Sometimes it means the weather is going to change soon. They float higher in the sky than cumulus clouds. Ah, low cumulus, high cirrus. Some clouds tell us a storm is coming. This is a cumulonimbus cloud. Ah, which brings us rain. Look at all of the different shapes. That one looks like a dinosaur. Now let's test your memory. Find the items that begin with S. 